George Seferis's Notebook of Exercises, 1928-1937, is a profound collection of reflections and observations that offers a window into the Greek poet's creative process and personal development during a pivotal decade. The work is a testament to Seferis's evolution as a poet and thinker, reflecting his engagement with both contemporary literary movements and his own existential inquiries. This notebook is a compilation of drafts, thoughts, and experiments that capture Seferis's transition from the early stages of his career to a more mature and influential voice in Greek literature. The entries reveal a writer deeply invested in exploring the boundaries of poetic expression and grappling with the challenges of creating a unique literary voice. Seferis's experimentation with form and language is evident throughout the notebook, showcasing his efforts to innovate within the constraints of traditional Greek poetry. One of the central themes in Notebook of Exercises, 1928-1937, is the struggle for artistic authenticity. Seferis frequently reflects on his desire to break away from conventional styles and expectations, striving to create poetry that resonates with his personal experiences and cultural heritage. This quest for authenticity is intertwined with his reflections on the nature of art and its role in society. The notebook reveals Seferis' dissatisfaction with the limitations of existing poetic forms and his commitment to pushing the boundaries of his craft. The entries also highlight Seferis's engagement with the broader literary and intellectual currents of his time. His writings during this period are marked by a deep awareness of European modernism and its influence on Greek literature. Seferis's interaction with modernist techniques, such as stream of consciousness and fragmented narrative, reflects his desire to align Greek poetry with contemporary global trends. However, he also maintains a strong connection to Greek traditions and mythology, which he weaves into his modernist experiments to create a distinctive and innovative voice. Seferis's reflections on personal and collective identity are another key aspect of the notebook. The period covered in the notebook coincides with significant historical and political changes in Greece, including the rise of authoritarian regimes and the impact of World War II. These external pressures are mirrored in Seferis' introspective writings, where he explores themes of alienation, disillusionment, and the search for meaning in a rapidly changing world. The notebook provides insight into how these broader socio-political forces influenced Seferis' work and his understanding of his role as a poet. In addition to its thematic content, the notebook is a valuable document for understanding Seferis' poetic technique. The various drafts and notes offer a glimpse into his creative process, revealing the meticulous and often experimental nature of his writing. The evolution of his poems from initial ideas to completed works demonstrates his dedication to refining his craft and his willingness to embrace ambiguity and complexity. Notebook of Exercises, 1928-1937, also serves as a reflection of Seferis' intellectual curiosity and his engagement with a wide range of subjects. The entries include references to literature, philosophy, and history, illustrating Seferis' broad intellectual interests and his efforts to incorporate diverse influences into his work. This intellectual richness adds depth to his poetry and underscores the interconnectedness of his artistic and philosophical pursuits. Overall, George Seferis' notebook is a rich and multifaceted document that sheds light on the poet's creative journey during a formative period. It captures his struggles, innovations, and reflections, providing valuable insights into his development as a major figure in modern Greek literature. Through its detailed observations and experimental approach, Notebook of Exercises, 1928-1937, offers a profound exploration of the artistic process and the quest for meaning in a complex and changing world.